uh, I really do thank uh, Dick for laying out the base of where we start, uh, I think, this process of getting legislation uh, enacted uh, with hopefully the cooperation of the Attorney General. But you know, last week uh, in the House, we had a bill before us that dealt with transparency, openness of government, and I'm sure that Mark and, and, and others were wondering where I'm going to go with this. Well, that was the electronic checkbook openness. If you remember the debate on the floor. And we all know that the Treasurer or DAS right now could put the electronic bank uh, checkbook right now online if they would like to. Well, but one of the key arguments that was put forth last week on the floor, and I'd like to see the continuation of this philosophy, is that the public deserves this openness and transparency, and they need it also when it comes to special counsel. Um, the process of the executive and DAS, they can do the electronic checkbook, but that does not guarantee that the next DAS that comes under the executive or the treasurer, whoever finally ends up getting it, will continue this. But what, that's why we need a piece of legislation to establish in law a transparent and fair selection process for special counsel. You know, I have had the pleasure of being around here a long time. And I've watched previous attorneys general and the current attorney general do things that may appear not to be what they should be. Let's be honest. $1.3 million money coming in soon after you award a special counsel contract. I'm not telling you that Democrats didn't do that. And I'm not telling you that obviously Republicans don't. But what I am telling you is that it's wrong. It is just absolutely wrong. And I would hope, and Representative Celebrezzi and I hope, that the Attorney General and his staff will come and sit down with us this summer and develop a transparent process. And that this bill can serve, this bill that we're introducing, we'll get a number, we'll start, we'll be the starting point placeholder to guarantee that a fair process is established and that the hiring of special counsel is not a pay-to-play operation now or in the future. And that goes back to House Bill 175. It has to be put in law because that is the only way that we can guarantee that the next Attorney General, whoever that may be, will continue to have an open and fair, transparent process of selecting counsel. And one that is not, and does not have, a stench of pay-to-play politics. And uh, we're open. I mean, we are not, uh, uh, Nick and I are really not going uh, at this in a, a, an, attack, an attack way. We want to work with the Attorney General. We think that the Attorney General should now help us establish a process that this appearance of impropriety will never, will never again exist with the Attorney General's office, whoever the Attorney General is. So uh, if you have any questions, we'd be glad to